All right, you, prepare to behold true, unfiltered awesomeness. It's beautiful and also legal. Oh, right. But for some reason, it just had to be in the maze. And this maze is called Drabnir's Grotto. It's a very linear looking area and map past Papa Thal or the Desert City in Dragon's Dogma 2. You can't really miss it, but you can get lost in it. So if you want the Exalted and weapon for 100% holy damage, keep watching, because this is for you. Now this maze is the epitome of bullshit, so pay very good attention to this part. You're going to be dealing with a lot of powerful monsters and lots of goblin ambushes. And you are definitely going to get lost a little bit. So keep watching and I'll try to get you to our destination as quick as possible. Alright, so once you do all that, you should have the Exalted. Now while the Exalted isn't the strongest weapon in the game, it does seem to have the most holy damage. And now you must be asking, well, what does holy damage exactly affect in the game? And the only way I can really answer that is this. A few moments later. Woo! You gonna die today, boy? Come on, fall already. You're making me look bad in front of the viewers. Fall! Fall! I know this hurts. Stop pretending! If I could just stab faster, there'd be no problem! Yeah, he died. So it could be that holy weapons hurt Minotaurs. Or, and this is just a thought, if you hit something hard enough with a blunt object directly in the head for long enough, they'll eventually die. That's possible too, the more you know. So I really had to study on this topic because this really isn't common knowledge, but holy damage apparently in Dragon's Dogma, while it doesn't affect the undead, it is most effective against skeletons, liches, anything that's corrupted, and most importantly, fuck, fuck, dual hands. Now to be honest, I'm sure about every one of those except for the dual hand. Now if he's not in his immune form, this weapon will do a significant amount of damage, but a lot of damage? Not sure. However, I have fought multiple dual hands with this weapon, and as far as I know, this is one of the most effective weapons against it. But feel free to tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. And also let me know if there's more enemies that this weapon is super effective against. And you guys have a great day. Peace!